Hi everyone, I'm Shelly, also known as Michelle, and I'm super excited to make some DIY printmaking with you uh, next weekend, Saturday. So just wanted to talk to you briefly about how to prepare, what to grab. So make sure you have a nice cleared off workspace. Um, and just start looking throughout the week of things that you think could be cool to make prints with and simple. Um, so for example, corks, wine corks. This one I wrapped a string around so you could roll it. Just a little ball of string could be fun to just make shapes with, um, to make marks with it. Um, styrofoam, I know. It's not our favorite material in the world, but it can be um, something to use, reuse, to make different shapes. So if you have um, an X-Acto knife and you can pre-cut stuff or we can spend time making it together, you can also cut stuff like this out of cardboard, paper packaging. Um, so I just have a whole little box of different shapes that we use and little cardboard cutouts. So if you have time to make little shapes, like hearts are really simple, I love hearts. Um, and then even once you have your little shape cut out, this is a type of foam on a little piece of marble from the hardware store, but you can make actual little stamps too, or carve, um, this is like a little square in the top of a cork. And little toys, if you have children, um, or animals, I don't know, that have little weird toys that they wouldn't miss. Uh, um, those can be fun. I cut an M for Michelle. So you can cut something that could be like your little signature to be used to make different patterns. Bubble wrap also, you know, there's kind of a lot of bubble wrap in the world on the inside of the packaging. If you get things delivered, that's a great way to reuse it. And then we can just um, use these shapes to make different patterns. And just showing you some things that have been made previously in my studio. And then something that's nice to have around too is a lot of times this type of paint is, this is acrylic paint. And so if you have a lot of colors, bring a lot of colors. If you want to stick to two colors, I would recommend, um, you know, two colors. You'll be working on probably white paper. So two colors that could go together. And um, yeah, or you could go from there. And then once the paint dries, it's kind of fun to use markers to you know add little details or drawings to. And then I can show you if you want how to fold them into journals, little journal covers, little tiny books. So anyways, nice to, um, looking forward to seeing you. Take care, have a good week. See you on Saturday, bye.